I'm going to give you a quick visual on what homogeneity of variance means. So homogeneity means likeness or equivalency or something like that. So they're, they're similar. So we got three different math teachers, 11th grade math teachers, Ms. Gupta, Mr. Anderson, and Ms. Alvarez. And these are the, the 11th grade state test scores for each of their 150 students. So each teacher's got five classes, 30, 30 students per class. So each each teacher has 150 students. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to go ahead and calculate the variance of each teacher to see if the spread of the data. Remember, variance is the spread of the data away from the mean set of that data. So I'm going to scroll to the bottom down here. And I'm variance. I'm going to pick the cell underneath each teacher. I'm going to go to the function bar. Make sure I'm in statistical. Statistical, where are you? And I'm going to go to variance with V. And we're going to use the one with dot S. That means sample. I tend to always use dot S for sample. And then you have to highlight the data to make sure it's the right data. And get down there, you. Okay, so that's it. And there's that. So we click OK. So there's the variance of Ms. Gupta. Click and drag that formula across. There's the variance for Mr. Anderson. There's the variance for Mrs. Alvarez. So you could tell right off the bat that these variances are nowhere near each other, right? So the spread of the data for Ms. Gupta's class is crazy big, right? It's, it's almost 500 points. So that means that most of the people are not close to the mean. That's what that means. But on the other side, Ms. Alvarez, most of her students are close to the mean. So this, this data set, these three different groups, they do not have equal variances. So if you were running like a t-test or an ANOVA or something that, that compares the means between the groups, so these, these three data sets here, if you're going to use them in a t-test or an ANOVA, would violate the assumption of homogeneity of variance. Again, because the variances are all over the place. So there's another way to, to check this. You can actually look at the standard deviations as well. And I would pick that cell, and I actually I would just take the square root of this. Watch. I'll take equals, take that variance, hit the shift six key, that's the caret, and make the decimal point, I'll make the exponent point five, which is the square root. I don't need any, this is an Excel thing. Why does it go out to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9? Nine is a billion, 10 billion, 100 billionth place value. I don't need that. Thank you very much. I'm going to take that down a little bit. So the square root of the variance is the standard deviation. We can just look at them like that as well. Right? And again, this standard deviation. For Ms. Gupta is three times, almost, you know, about three times as much as it is for Ms. Alvarez. So again, this data violated the assumption of homogeneity of variance. MGZ, out.